Hello everyone, you are watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session, we will discuss why NATO's enemies should fear the Meteor Aircraft Killer Missile. The powerful Eurofighter Typhoon Multirole Fighter of the Royal Air Force is likely to get a powerful new weapon. It is the long-range Meteor Air-to-Air Missile. By most reports, the new ramjet-powered radar-guided missile seems to be NATO's single most capable air intercept weapon. Before we move further, let's learn about its history. Meteor isn't that new at all as it has been in development for nearly two decades. Still, there is no doubt that the missile is extremely impressive, but it is not necessarily the best solution for the Beyond Visual Range BVR, job for all fighters and for all scenarios. The Meteors had its origin the mid-1990s grew out of a common European need for a next-generation BVR missile. This new missile had to have superior range and overall climatic performance than the American AAM-120 AMROM. The program involved UK, France, Sweden, Germany, Italy, and Spain all participated in the program while European Aerospace and Defense Consortiums are nothing new, some features of what the Meteor brings to the fight indeed something advanced. Actually, the key to the Meteor's range is its ramjet propulsion. It's a slightly slower missile than a pure rocket that's just going to have a certain burn period and accelerate very fast. It is also able to use all of its energy in the most efficient manner based on the range it is requested to move. Furthermore, the missile's ramjet propulsion makes it nearly impossible for an adversary fighter to escape over a large region. If the target isn't too far away and the missile is still above it, the missile will dive down on it to maximize its ability to make hard maneuvers. The longer the shot, the less energy the missile will have during its vital terminal phase of flight, which is not a good thing. In regard to the Meteor, a ramjet-powered spacecraft, instead of burning through all of its fuel straight after launch, the engine can be throttled back throughout cruise, saving gasoline. Even when shot at long ranges, it can throttle up as it approaches its target, eventually delivering its terminal attack while at its highest conceivable energy state, around Mach 4.5. This feature not only expands the extent of the meteor's no-escape zone, but it also means the missile will have more energy to maneuver during the endgame of the fight. In short, the meteor was much better at hunting and catching hostile aircraft over long distances. It can be said that meteor offers a whole different and more smarter propulsion approach that not only increases range but also boosts the missile's effectiveness over that range, rather than simply being a better beyond visual range BVR, missile with higher-end sensors and a larger rocket motor. Lastly, the Meteor is clearly a capable weapon that represents a step forward in some aspects of BVR missile technology. That's all for today, thanks for watching and see you next time.